pageants are also undergoing a metamorphosis in order to keep up with the changing world. And the new style events are focused on all-round excellence rather than on looks alone. A double bill of pageants took place in Durban recently and Michelle went to see how the competition unfolded. The City Hall here in Durban is playing host to one of South Africa's premier events. After tonight's crowning, two ladies' lives will be changed forever. But before the big event, I'm heading backstage. The makeup team faced the challenge of creating a look that complemented Eastern and contemporary styles. Ryan, what's the brief that you received from the organizers in terms of the looks for the makeup tonight? Pretty much a very glam, glowy effect as it is a pageant. The contestants go from Eastern to Western. How does that affect the makeup palette? She just go with very neutral kind of colors in terms of makeup, so it matches both. After makeup, the contestants move to the hairstylist station. Samaya, so in terms of the looks tonight for the hairstyles, what has the brief been? Most of them is going with very flowy hair, bits of curls, just bringing out their natural beauty. With two pageants running concurrently, pageant director Kamisha Nanu Maharaj made sure that everything flowed smoothly. Kamisha, it's always great to welcome you back to Mela. Tonight is such an exciting evening because somebody's life is going to be changed forever. Why is it so important for these events to be taking place in today's time? It's an opportunity for young Indian women or women from the South African heritage to take part in this competition to uplift our cultural heritage. What is the response like from the participants, the entries? It's been amazing. We've been growing and growing and this year is phenomenal. As you'll see, the show has grown with so much. We've got now an entire different event coming into play for women that are married or have been married. There can only be one winner but you have 10 finalists. How do you ensure that everyone grows from the experience? Throughout this entire process, we have motivational talks, we have talks on upliftment, we have talks to actually grow our contestants, not just for the pageant, but for the entire life. It's our current Empress. Nazira, it's so great to be chatting with you. How are you feeling this evening? I'm actually feeling very excited. I'm looking forward to meeting our new Empress. Also a bit of tears because I'm handing over the crown. What advice would you have for the incoming queen? We want a queen that's going to be genuine, that's going to want to help women because pageantry and being a beauty queen is about motivating and encouraging other women and that is what we stand for. While the finalists took care of the finishing touches and captured some last-minute selfies, the pageant goers made their way into the venue. The ladies are dressed to the nines, the men are looking dapper, the show is about to start, I'd better head on in and take my seat. Namaste, Vanakum, Salaam. We need to be able to do things for ourselves and by ourselves. It doesn't matter where you come from or how much money you have. If you have dreams, just follow them. Each of the Empress India South Africa top 10 delivered a brief message and then it was time to meet the Miss India SA KwaZulu Natal finalists. Be proud of who you are. I lead my life with honesty, integrity and compassion. You should always make the most of every opportunity in life. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. The finalists of both pageants then had an opportunity to show off their dancing talents, with Bollywood hits being a favorite choice. <laughs> Ethnic elegance followed the entertainment and then the outgoing Empress made a final official appearance. I would like to call Miss Nazira Moore for her final walk. It is my honour to call on stage the director and producer of the pageant to announce the winners. This Empress India South Africa 2019 second runner-up is Yasmeen Rajak.
first runner up is Swastika Pale. And that was Empress India South Africa 2019. It's Krenisha George Tirad. Miss India South Africa KZN 2019. Second runner up is Priyanka Sekto. First runner up is Rivashni Naidu. Miss India South Africa KZN 2019 is Priya Sofo. It's been such a lovely evening here at the City Hall in Durban. I'm looking so forward to seeing what the two winners achieve in their reigning year. Congratulations to all the winners. Another highly successful year for the Miss South Africa India pageant, which owes an incalculable debt of thanks to the late journalist and activist Farooq Khan, who started the local event as part of the Miss India Worldwide franchise.